How does uh, uh, how how does a super intelligent AI solve the energy problem? Uh, like where did where does it get the energy to sustain itself indefinitely? So the uh, a, a modern AI runs in a data center that takes as much electricity as a small city. Mm -hmm. uh, a human runs on about as much electricity as a large light bulb. So we know it's possible technologically to run uh, very smart, or at least human level smart uh, intelligence on less electricity, less matter. Um, AI isn't there yet, but if you get much smarter than human AIs that can think 10,000 times faster, that can copy themselves, that don't need to sleep, that don't need to eat, and they work on these challenges, you know, there, there may be a period of time where they rely on human infrastructure, but uh, eventually they're going to get off of the human infrastructure, get on to, to you know, more efficient, uh, uh, more efficient systems and, you know, automate the infrastructure that humans are currently doing. You know, that can ultimately be done by robots, which are, uh, which are less, um, which are more robust, uh, operate faster, more reliable. Eventually, you're gonna. If, if we keep pushing to machines that are smarter than us, you'll eventually see them on their own infrastructure. And that's something I think that's really important to call out, because I have this conversation. I've had it many times, but the the issue with it is, is people are like, oh yeah, you do manual labor, and then you're safe from AI. No, you're not. You're safe from AI until the successful marriage of AI, like it, like he's saying, it gets downsized into something like a light bulb, right? That's the electricity that we use. If it gets downsized into something like that and it can be placed inside of a robot, or if a robot basically, I mean, it could just operate through like a Bluetooth and okay, the AI is telling the robot what to do. Well then yes, all of the jobs are gone because they could literally do any job. The AI could work through robots to do any job. And that's exactly it is then you know, basically answering Ryan's question, well then you don't have to, there's nothing to do with human infrastructure because it can build its own power plants. It, again, being smarter than all of humanity in this instance, right, when it gets there, well then it could do fusion technology. It could do, it can do all these things that we can't even imagine yet where, oh yeah, you hear about a fusion breakthrough. Well, it can solve that or it can build a Dyson sphere around the sun to harvest all of the energy. Or there's there's all these things that it could do that we can't even imagine right now. And that's the thing with it is, yeah, it's gonna be, it's that saying, right? 